When people start talking about math and poker, players often focus on things like pot odds and simple probabilities. Things like how often you'll flop a set with a pocket pair, or how often you'll turn your flush when you flop to flush draw. Don't get me wrong, it's important to be able to figure out the answers to these types of questions. But the biggest intersection of math and poker is also possibly the most frequently ignored. Learning to make decisions based on probabilities, and learning to judge your decisions in light of those probabilities, and not your immediate results. Learning to think like a poker player, for many people, is harder than learning what great poker players think about. For many people, this is a pretty confusing concept. Here's a real-world example that may help illustrate it just a little bit better. Let's say it's 8.30 a.m. and you're driving to work. You've got two different routes that you can take to get into work. You can take the freeway the rest of the way, or you can get off the freeway and take the side roads. 90% of the time, driving in via the freeway takes 20 minutes, but 10% of the time there's traffic, and the drive can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. The side roads take 25 minutes when there's no traffic, but they have traffic about 25% of the time. When there's traffic on them, they take about 35 minutes. Since you're running late, you decide to take the freeway. Unfortunately, you run into a traffic jam, and you end up half an hour late for work. So is your decision the wrong decision? The right decision? Somewhere halfway in between? In a vacuum, many people would argue that you made a bad choice. You're late for work, and that's all that really matters in their minds. You probably would have been better off in their minds taking the side roads this time. To be a successful poker player, though, you need to get out of the habit of thinking this way. Good poker players focus on the probabilistic outcomes of their decisions. They weight them, and they determine what the right course of action is based on that information. It's a bit of a stretch to say that you should think about everything in life probabilistically, but it's a necessary part of becoming a better poker player. So let's practice thinking about this in the way that a poker player might. Let's start with decision A, the freeway. 90% of the time, we're 10 minutes early. 10% of the time, we're late by an average of 15 minutes. Overall, you could say that we're early by about 7.5 minutes. Now let's look at decision B, side roads. 75% of the time, we're 5 minutes early. 25% of the time, we're 5 minutes late. Net, we're 2.5 minutes early. It may seem pretty strange to analyze a simple decision like this, but you'll see questions and analysis framed like this frequently in poker discussions, so it's good to get in the habit when money isn't on the line. So now, were you right to take the freeway, or would you have been better off taking the side roads? As you can probably see, it actually depends on the specific question that you're asking. If your goal is to maximize the amount of time that you're at work total, then taking the freeway is best by a factor of three. But what if your goal is simply to minimize the amount of time that you're late? Or what if your goal is to minimize the number of times that you're late? Poker decision making is basically like this. The question we're usually focused on answering is simple. What is the most profitable decision over the long run? As you improve, that question will start becoming more and more refined, and you'll be looking at different ways of approaching it, but the core aspect of thinking probabilistically will always be required. Now that you're learning about thinking that way, I'd recommend taking a look at our introduction to expected value. Expected value is the mathematical framework that you'll use to analyze many of your poker decisions and determine not only if you were right over the long run, but how right or wrong you were. As always, if you have any questions, please ask them in the forums. This has been Entity for Deuces Cracked, signing off.